Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture series of engineering graphics and design. Myself Ankur Patel and today we are going to learn development of surfaces. So today in this first session of development of surfaces uh, we will discuss what are development of surfaces of the solid then after we will discuss application of development of surfaces and then after we will discuss example of development of surfaces. Now let's see what are development of surfaces of the solid. So development of surface of the solid or object means the unfolding or unrolling of all surfaces of the solids or object on a plane surfaces. So now let us see the development of these surfaces of different solids. So first is cylinder. So if we unfold the surface of the cylinder, it will be a rectangle having length equal to pi d which will be equal to the circumference of the base circle or top face circle and width will be equal to the height of the cylinder. Now let us see the development of the prism. So that the development of each prism will be a rectangle which is divided into number of rectangles. So here each rectangle will represent the rectangular face of the prism. So if we have a pentagonal prism as uh, here we have taken the number of rectangles will be 5 if we have hexagonal prism the number of rectangle will be 6 if we have square prism the number of rectangle will be 4 and the width of each rectangle will be equal to the length of its base edge and height or, or length of each rectangle will be equal to the height of the prism so the development of cylinder and prisms are known as the parallel development of the surface. Now let us see development of some other objects. So cone. So the development of the cone is a sector of a circle which have a radius equal to the uh, length of the generator of the cone and the sector will be up to angle theta or the angle of the sector will be theta which will be equal to uh, capital R upon L into 360 degree where R represents the radius of the base circle and L will be the length of the generator. Now let us see the development of this pyramid. So here we have taken the square pyramid and in case of the con and pyramid the development will be radial. So the development of the square pyramid will be a uh, number of triangles attached at the same point. So right now we have four triangles which have a, a length or side length equal to L and base length equal to S where S is the base edge length of the square pyramid. So the development will be four triangles attached at the same point and this development is known as the radial development. So if we have pentagonal pyramid we have we will get five triangles. If we have hexagonal pyramid, we will get in the development six triangles. Now let us see the application of the development of surfaces of the solid. So development of surfaces of solids are used in sheet metal work where we have to make the article from a sheet metal. So to make any article out of sheet metal, first of all we have to prepare its development and then we have to cut the sheet metal according to the shape of shape and size of the development called the blank and then roll it into the required shape of the articles. So uh, articles like containers, cupboards, lampshades, radio and TV cover, car and ship body, packing containers etc are made of sheets and hence in fabrication the knowledge of development of surfaces of the solid is necessary. Now let us see the problems of development of surfaces. So the first problem is a right angular pentagonal prism, edge of base 20 mm and height 50 mm rests on its base on HP with one of its base edge perpendicular to VP and AIP inclined to HP at 30 degree and perpendicular to VP cuts its axis at a distance of 30 mm from the base develop the lateral surface of the truncated cut prism. Now in this example first of all we will draw the front view and top view of the pentagonal prism. So for that uh, we will uh, uh, 
uh, apply the given data so right now it is given that it is resting on its base on the hp with one of its base is perpendicular to vp so right now the base of the pentagonal prism is on hp that means the base is parallel to hp and it is perpendicular to vp that means we can also say that the axis of the uh, pentagonal prism will be perpendicular to hp parallel to vp so the top view of the pentagonal prism will be a true shape of its base or the top face so let us start with the top view of the regular pentagonal prism so first of all draw x y reference line and uh, we will uh, use the first angle projection method so to the top view will be below the x y reference line and the top view will be the pentagon and in the top view we have to take one of the bases perpendicular to the x y reference line because it is here it is given that one of the bases perpendicular to vp so we have to take one of the bases of the pentagon perpendicular to the x y reference line so draw a pentagon having side line 20 mm which will shows as the top face or uh, which will shows as the top view of its base and the top face so this will be 1a 2b 3c 4d and 5e so a b c d e will be our top view of the base and 1 2 3 4 5 will be the top view of the top face now first of all mark the center to show the axis so for that uh, uh, connect the midpoint of uh, one of the bases to the opposite corner and again uh, take one another edge base edge and connect it uh, to the opposite corner like this so we will take this page and the center of this page is connected to the opposite corner and the intersection of this edge and this edge will be the center so this will be the top view of the axis now we have to draw the front view now uh, the top view will be the uh, two shape of its base and the top face and uh, right now the axis of the prism will be parallel to the vertical plane so the front view of the pentagonal prism will be a rectangle so first of all project all these points vertically upwards point of the axis so here we will get the uh, front view of the base so here we will get a dash so this is b dash e dash this will be our o and this will be our c dash d dash so first of all draw the base now here the axis height is 50 mm so from this point measure the axis height and draw the side edge that is 1a 2b 3c 4d 5e are the side edge and the length of the side edge will be equal to the height of the axis so now draw the side edge having height equal to 50 mm this will be a dash 1 dash here we will get a 2 dash and 5 dash and here we will get 3 dash and 4 dash so this will be our top face this will be 1 dash 2 dash 5 dash this will be our one showing the axis this this will be our 3 dash 4 dash and this will be our top face now before sh uh, showing the uh, development of the uh, section part first of all we will show the basic development of the pentagonal prism so for that first of all project this height and draw a line parallel to this line showing one of the edge so we will uh, unfolding the uh, uh, pentagonal prism from uh, the side edge a1 now a measure a uh, length of phi into the side length of the or basis length of the square prism which will be equal to phi into 20 which will be equal to 100 now divide this line into phi equal parts to show the another rectangular phases of the pentagonal prism so this will be the basic development of the pentagonal prism which will show the rectangular phases of the pentagonal prism and uh, uh, pentagonal prism has uh, five rectangular faces the length the width of each rectangular face will be equal to uh, the length of its base and the length will be equal to the height of the pentagonal prism so this point will be our a b c d e and a this will be our one two three four five and one so this will be the front view top view and the basic surface development of the pentagonal prism now we have to show the cutting plane and we have to uh, then after we have to show the development of the literal surface of the truncated cut prism so first of all we have to take the cutting plane 
and here the cutting plane is AIP that is auxiliary inclined plane inclined to HP at 30 degree and perpendicular to VP and cuts its axis at the distance of 30 mm from the base. So first of all measure this distance 30 mm from its base. So now draw the cutting plane line inclined at an angle of 30 degree and passing from this point which is the intersection point of the cutting plane and the axis. Now after showing the cutting plane we have to remove the upper part of the prism. So the lower part will remain as it is. So uh, we have to draw the outlines of the lower part by the dark outlines. So draw it dark. Now mark the intersection point of the cutting plane to the side edge of the prism. So mark this point 1, 2, 3. Now we have to project this intersection point in the part of the development. So first of all project this point over here. So we will get the intersection over here A1 and A1 because the cutting plane is intersecting the side edge A1. So we have to mark this point over here on the side edge A1, A1. Now project this point. So this will intersect at B2 and E5 side edge. So here we have two side edge B2 and E5. So mark this point. Now project this point. So it will intersect over here and give the intersection over here on the side edge 3E and sorry 3C and D4. So the cutting plane is intersecting over here. Again here the intersection is on two side edge. So the side edge are 3, 4 and sorry 3C and 4D. So mark this point. So this will be P, Q, R, S. T U sorry again P because here the side edge is same side edge that we have taken over here now mark this point over here so here we will get P dash here we will get Q dash T dash and here we will get R dash S dash now connect this point P Q Q R R S S T and T P now here we have to show the development of the later surface of the truncated so the upper part is going to be removed so uh, draw the dark outlines in the lower part from this section so show the lower part by the dark outline so this will be the development of our pentagonal prism now let's take one another example a right angular pentagonal pyramid 30 into 60 that means 30 is its base is length and 60 is the axis height is resting on its base with one of the side of the base perpendicular to VP. Draw its projection. An AIP inclined to HP at 60 degree and perpendicular to the VP curves the axis at the distance of 30 mm from the apex. Develop the later surface of the truncated cut pyramid. Now here the object or the solid is the uh, pentagonal pyramid which has its base on the horizontal bend by one of the bases perpendicular to VP. So first of all we have to draw the front view and top view of the pentagonal pyramid. So first of all draw the XY reference line. Here we will also draw the uh, projection by using the first angle projection method. So we will get the top view below the XY reference line and front view above the XY reference line. All right now the base of the pentagonal pyramid is on HP. So the top view of the pentagonal pyramid will be the two shape of its base. So we'll start with the top view and it will be a pentagon. So draw a pentagon by taking one of the side perpendicular to the XY reference line because here we have to uh, show one of the side of the base perpendicular to VP. So if we will take side perpendicular to XY reference line, it will be perpendicular to VP because if we are drawing the top view, XY line will be our vertical plane. So draw a pentagon like this by taking one of the side perpendicular to the XY reference line having side line 30 mm. Uh, mark the points A, B, C, D, E. Now we have to show the slantage also in the top view. For that we have to find out the center point. And to find out the center point we have to connect the midpoint of one of the edge to the opposite corner. So draw, the, uh, draw that edge uh, from the midpoint of this edge. To, by, and connect it to the opposite corner find the midpoint of this edge 
and connect it to the opposite corner and mark this point so this point will be our apex point that will be our o now connect o to uh, all the corner of the base which shows the top view of the slant edge now we have to draw the front view and right now the front view of the pentagonal pyramid will be a triangle so for that we have to project all these points vertically upwards project all these points vertically upwards so this will be a dash b dash c dash d dash and e dash connect this this will be the front view of the base now take the projection of the apex point measure the axis side which is 60 mm here we will get o dash which will be the front view of the apex point connect the apex point to the base corners that is o dash to a dash o dash to b dash e dash and o dash to c dash d dash will give us the front view of the pentagonal pyramid now first of all we have to show the uh, basic development of the surfaces before taking the section so right now in the elevation the slant edge o dash a dash will give us the true length and uh, how can we define that o dash a dash will give us the true length because you can see the plan of the slant edge that is oa is parallel to the xy reference line and if the plan is parallel to the xy reference line in the elevation the length of the slant edge will give us the true length so right now the slant edge o dash a dash will give us the true length so first of all draw a line having length equal to o dash a dash and parallel to o dash a dash over here this will be our o and this will be our a now taking center at o and radius is equal to o to a draw an arc and on this arc now give another arc measuring from a and radius is equal to the length of the base edge so measure 30 mm put your under over here give five arcs on this arc so one two three four five so this is a so this will be our b c d e a connect a b b c c d e e and e a now connect all these points to point o so o b o c o d o e o e will be the development of the or basic development of the pentagonal pyramid it will give us five triangular phases having base length equal to the length of the bases of the pentagonal pyramid and this side length will be equal to the length of the slant edge o dash a dash now we have to take the section for that we will show the cutting plane in the elevation because right now the cutting plane is aip auxiliary inclined plane so we have to show this cutting plane which is inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the hp and perpendicular to vp and cut the axis at a distance of 30 mm from the apex so first of all measure 30 mm from the apex draw a line so our cutting plane will pass from this point the intersection point of this line and the axis so now from this point draw a cutting plane line inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the xy reference line so draw a cutting plane line or show a cutting plane now mark the intersection point of the cutting plane to the pyramid so mark this point this point and this point so this point will show the intersection point of the cutting plane with the slant edge o c and o d this point will show the intersection point of the cutting plane with the slant edge o e and o b and this point of the cutting plane will gives us the intersection point or will shows us the intersection point of the cutting plane with the base edge a b and a e so a b and a e. it will cut to the base edge a b and a e. now after showing the cutting plane or the intersection point of the cutting plane we have to remove the upper part of the pentagonal pyramid so the part below the cutting plane is shown by the visible outlines so draw the visible outlines in the part below the cutting plane now we have to extend this point in the development of the pyramid so for that first of all um, extend this point on this line over here now uh, take center at o radius uh, and measure the radius of this distance from o and give an arc like this we will get the intersection or we have to take the intersection of this arc on 
OC and OD slantage. So mark the intersection point of this arc on OC and OD slantage. So mark this point. Now project this point on this slantage OA and uh, measure this distance from O and take center at O and give an arc and uh, mark the intersection point of this arc on this slantage OB and OE. So on this slantage OB and OE mark the intersection point. So this will be the intersection point. Now we have to find this intersection point. We will we doesn't get the intersection point directly like this. So for that, first of all, we have to project this point in the plan. So project this point with the plan and mark this point. Now measure this point A to this point. Give an arc from this point A on the base edge over here. Measure A to this point and give an arc taking your rounder over here on the base edge A. So mark this point. Okay. Now give the name of this point P Q R S T U. So we will get R S over here. P U over here. So mark this point as P dash U dash. This point as Q dash T dash. This point as R dash S dash. And mark these points. This will be our P and this will be our U. Now connect these points PQ, QR, RS, ST, and TU. Connect this point P to B, BC, CD, DE, and EU. And mark the, uh, also join this point QB, RC, SD, and TE. So this will be our final development after taking the section of the pentagonal pyramid. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lecture. Till then, take care.